uh, you know, part of it's making shots. I mean, that obviously you only have 19 points at half. Uh, I thought we missed some easy ones. I thought we missed some layups. I thought we some of the layups where you go just go get a foul. Don't try to make a double pump underhand layup. Go go get a foul and get to the free throw line. We need to get to the free throw line more. You know, obviously we didn't shoot it well there, but uh, you know, and then the turnovers too. You know, we had. Got a lot of empty possessions, led to uh, 18 points off turnovers. Last game it was 25, and if you think about how many te- points these teams are scoring, 51, they get 18. It's you know close to half, or you know getting up there. Same with the uh, Georgia State game. So you know we got to do a little better job taking care of the basketball, uh, getting getting shots off, getting opportunities off. Uh, you know we tried to scramble without. Uh, Without Dean, uh, you know, in two days, uh, you know, probably, you know, I, I don't know if the guys just thought, because last year it, w- it went so easy and we went on the run, it was going to happen. Uh, but, uh, you know, it, it obviously it, it, t- it wasn't good, it wasn't smooth. And But to Cam's credit, you know, he got it going, made some shots, you got to have that happen. Uh, Xavier, great energy, great effort, 14 rebounds, career high. Uh, you know, and Barry got a few hoops in that stretch. Uh, you know, and then you know there were a lot of lot of big plays. Levi had a little layup in that in that stretch. Mike McGurl got a layup. Uh, so you know, all those little plays make a difference. And you know, we again now problem is we got so many guys with boogered up that it, I'm not sure we didn't practice Sunday, Monday we didn't practice. We tried to go a little yesterday. Um, and it, I think it looked like it. I, I thought we didn't have great energy. We didn't have second half a little motion. But uh, tomorrow's got to be a recovery day. Hopefully, a little get a little bit done on on Friday, and get ready for Saturday. And then they'll get a well deserved uh, little break there. And then, just how do you feel like Dean's absence affected the way you guys played tonight? Part of it is offensively. You know, you know, Dean does so many things. I mean, he, you know, him and Barry leading scores are close to it. Uh, you know, Dean's leading rebounder, leading assist turnover, uh, leads us on play hard. He's, he's smart on defense. We run a lot of things through him that it makes other people uh, guard. Uh, it, in this game, they're so little, they just switched everything. And so some of the stuff that maybe with Dean, if they switch, we'd, they'd put them in a bind. Um, it wasn't there. So, uh, you know, we, you know it, it changes the game. There's no doubt. Uh, but we gotta we gotta find a way to get some offense and be a little more efficient with the with the taking care of the basketball. You touch on this a little bit, Bruce, with uh, Kamau. He he was good tonight. He had nearly his m- most points in in a year. Um, did you get a sense that he was taking a little ownership of the, of the team without Dean out there? Well, we you know I I talked about it first. It's the leadership of the older guys that have been through it, and you know he. And in, even in the game, you got, I said, you got to make plays. You can't be scared to make plays. And obviously he got going. Um, he's put some time in the, in the gym and got his shot going. He's the one, you know, we, the other guys are 0 for 12 from three. So, uh, but, you know, it, it's, you know it, it's great for him. I'm happy for him. Uh, you know, I, obviously four, zero assists and four turnovers is not great, but he, he made big plays when we needed it. Bruce, I guess my first question would just be, uh, what would you say the biggest emotions you have after a game like this? Is this relief that you guys overcame something like that? Happiness that you showed the resolve to, to make a comeback? Where would you say just your feelings about well, the victory Well, there's no doubt be? relief. I, I mean, there, you know, somebody said, well, I'd just say at halftime. I, those first four minutes were not good either. I had to call timeout two minutes into it. So I, I must not have said something very motivating. Um, but, you know, to the kids' credit, they, they finally manned up. You know, we defended really well second half. They shoot, you know, 22 percent, 11 from three. We did. We kept them off the line. Uh, you know, so there, you know, that part of it was good. We even got a little bit of a transition, which was which was positive. Get some of those easy hoops. Uh, it makes a difference. But, uh, you know, I'm, you, you just want to win. You want to find a way to win. And and obviously now you got to go back and Watch tape, watch this game, but also get ready for Vanderbilt. Quick turnaround. Uh, they just beat Arizona State in a you know a huge win for them. Uh, they've won at USC. 
Uh, we beat them last year. We know it's it's not going to be an easy game. And, and then you touched on it, like you said, a line about the energy that he brought. But just how, how big was Xavier's performance on the boards tonight? Well, it, out? you know, the one thing I said at the end of uh, at the end of our shoot around today, you know, we're going to miss Dean in a lot of ways, but his rebounding is is huge. And uh, you know, and, and the one thing we we are, I don't know all these stats now, they got so many different analytical things, but Coach Spiro said we're number one in the country on offensive rebounds. And I don't know how or what per possessions, per whatever, um, in some thing. So, you know, and, but Dean got a lot of offensive rebounds. Austin gets some, Matt gets some. Uh, but, you know, I thought in the first half, especially offensively, the offensive rebound part, we had guys just standing there watching. Somebody shoot, we got four guys standing being safeties. We got to do some of the other things that make a difference. Bruce, I have to be the one to tell you that Vanderbilt's obviously a pretty good team on Saturday. What's your message to the team after one like this going into a game like that? Do you, you know, encourage them because you got this win and, and pulled it out, or do you say, hey, if you come with an effort like that, it might import? Well, I think, hey, you found a way to win. You made plays second half. We we got to play better, and obviously Vanderbilt's going to be better, and and they're going to be different. Every game is different. These guys are small, tough, switch everything, stay compact, dribble drive, you know, and so they can do things that Vanderbilt can't do. So, uh, but we, you know, we we got to get prepared, and and I, I, you know, I hope there's great energy in the building. I hope that helps us, um, you know, and, and obviously guys got to play better. You you win games when guys play well. I can be the greatest or the worst coach in the in the country. But it really comes down to the players go make plays. We ran a play for Barry and he missed a layup. And now I'm a bad coach, you know. So, you know, you got, you got, they got to make plays, make layups. And, uh, you know, stay, the thing I've talked about, stay humble and stay focused and stay basic. You don't, you know, you have a good game, you got to come back the next game and do something. You have players like Mike McGurl coming off the bench and the way he distributes the ball is pretty good for you. Yeah. Getting the open spots to, for Stokes to hit those shots. Just talk about how he brings that dynamic. Well, you know, I told the other day, I, and I didn't realize it until I got done, but I think I said it in the press conference yesterday, Mac was plus 30, 33 in, uh, in 26 minutes the other day and scored two points and had one rebound. So if you're doing the other things, Mike was the second best on the plus minus. You know, and he, and he didn't score and had five assists was up in the play hard, had a couple, you know, a couple rebounds, all those other plays. Got to figure out your role and, and get those things and do some of those other things. And that's, that's the type of thing Mike, Mike can help us with. His, you know, he gets some rebounds, he gets some assists, he gets a layup. He, uh, he was big time on defense against Simmons the other day. Um, and he's still struggling with his ankle. You know, he, you know we'll, we'll have to rest all those guys tomorrow. The 24 to two run in there obviously Kamau hit shots but you can't go on that run without a defensive effort too what did you like best on that side of the ball during that I spread? think we stayed in front of them in the second half uh, uh, you know the first half they had us all it just seemed they you know we they beat us on the dribble we go help they made the pass we didn't react to it very well we were very flat-footed we you know didn't make the plays and it, ironically, yesterday in practice, we were, you know, we didn't do anything Sunday. Monday, very, very, very little, if any. And then yesterday, they were so good. They were flying around, uh, very active, did a great job. I, I was fired up about, you know, the game. And, uh, you know, they, the, I thought second half, we did a better job staying in front of them, not giving them the open looks. Obviously, the, you know, we're, we're pretty good defensing, defending the three, Getting hands up has always been one of the things we've emphasized. The first half was a pretty poor shooting performance, and as you just mentioned earlier, you kind of feel relieved after winning this game. At halftime, coming into the second half, did you have a very confident feeling that you're going to come back and win this uh, game? I mean, we, you know, the worst thing we got those fouls at the end of the half. We take one, and then they get the ball tipped, and Barry, you know, goes for a steal, and they end up getting a dunk at the end of the half. I mean, it was. It was not good, but you know we just said, "Hey guys, this we got to be the, have them be the first one to call timeout." But it wasn't. I had to call timeout. So now you're 18 minutes left. But you know, again, to their credit, they stepped up. They manned up. Um, I thought their shot selection probably helped us a little bit second half. Um, you know, and hopefully it was our defense that created some of that. Bruce is awesome. 
he's got to play better. He's got to, you know, the other night the zone, uh, you know, he's he's not a great zone player, you know, to go against the zone, I, you know, and you know we tonight they're small, you know, their their foreman was a guard. You know, I think Stan Weber came in and said, "Who's going to guard Edwards?" And we said, "Well, Xavier, he's the foreman." You know, it's just so it's that's a tough matchup for Austin and. When they went big, right, we tried to get Austin in, get him some activity. He does do some good things, but, you know, the things we have told him since the start about being balanced and playing strong and finishing layups and all that stuff, you know, that he thought would come easy. And, and you know, he'll be fine. He he can do, you know, the, on Saturday they're going to be bigger. You know, so it will allow us to play a little big, give us some different looks uh, with him and, and maybe Levi and some other guys. Um, he mentioned the other day about how without Dean, your guys' margin for air uh, closes. Um, you said that you I think can't... you saw it tonight. <laughs> right. <laughs> um, but you said you couldn't have, I mean, 15, 16 turnovers. Tonight you have yeah. 17 and still find a way to win without Dean. Is that encouraging at all? Well, it's encouraging that they found a way to win and somebody stepped up, made plays. But it also showed you, you know, how, that's how close it is. You, you play, you have 17 turnovers. You're going to, you know, we had to fight our butts off to win and, and make free throws down the stretch. So it's, uh, you know, it, it, we got to be better. We got to take care of that ball, protect that ball, play strong, finish layups. And, uh, you know, I'd, if you're open, shoot the three. You now we had, we had open looks first half. We just didn't make them. I mean, you've always mentioned multiple times just the number of, of turnovers that you guys had. How much of that did you feel like was on you guys being careless versus just Southern Miss having some good defensive schemes? Well, they're active, and we told them they go for steals. They're going to reach a lot like Georgia State, a lot like Tulsa. you got to play strong with the ball. you got to be definite with the ball. Um, I, I thought we had a couple guys who were very casual, and, you know, they're little buggers, you know, that you know they're slapping at you and going for steals. And uh, Coach Fraser had, was on the scout squad and, you know, tried to imitate sometimes – uh, you know, they have guys just leave people and go run and, you know, go for steals. You know, just they play very hectic. And, and the guy goes, well, they're not going to play like that. And we say, yes, they will. We're trying to tell you. And you can't be – got to play strong. you got to take care of the ball. you got to be definite. And, you know, we had, we had to learn the hard way.